Well, welcome to um, the accommodation. So we are in the DD hammock tonight and um, <laughs> this rain keeps uh, coming down in big, big droplets. Um, so we've got the DD 3x3 tarp keeping us dry. Um, I am in the DD hammock and uh, I'm also in the snug pack uh, hammock cocoon. And inside that I've got my snug pack special forces 2 sleeping bag. Here comes another downpour. So yeah, I'm hopefully not going to be cold tonight, that's for sure. I don't really want to go out and uh, get myself soaking wet, if I'm honest. So yeah, it might just be um, a night of chilling out in the hammock and eating some food, drinking some coffee and uh, seeing if this rain passes. Okay, so the rain has stopped for a bit, hopefully for good. So I thought I would uh, show you around a little bit. We'll go and have a bit of a walk around. There really is something just magical about being in the middle of a wood at night. 
on your own just listening to the wind just beautiful So this is Wayfarer spicy sausage, pretty good. Okay, well, I don't think we're gonna get any owls tonight. Um, at least not uh, at the moment, it would appear. So I think I'm gonna take off my boots Put on my little uh, camping bootettes, my little slippers, and um, climb into my bag and uh, see if I can uh, drift off and get some sleep. I might just uh, lie awake and just listen to the wind. So yeah, I think in the morning we'll um, we'll get up, get packed up. Hopefully it will be dry, and um, see if there's uh, anything interesting that we can find in the wood. See if we go looking for some mushrooms. All right, so. We're in, and we're uh, rocking away quite pleasantly. So, uh, super comfy hammock. Um, the uh, the cocoon is uh, extremely warm. It's really, really nice and toasty in here. Um, absolutely no. Uh, chill on your back and um, that uh, you, you know you often get if you don't have a uh, a blanket or uh, you know under blanket or any anything uh, under your back but yeah really toasty um, admittedly it's not Baltically cold and uh, the last few uh, few days have been sub-zero and um, I was quite looking forward to testing it out in that kind of temperature but it's definitely not that cold so um, I think it would just be a very pleasant uh, temperature bit of condensation on the inside of the um, tarp but nothing uh, nothing really to worry about so things I like about the cocoon are the um, the warmth uh, and, and comfort um, it just makes you 
you know, literally feel like you're in a cocoon, um, which is uh, which is great. Um, it's relatively light. Um, I think the you know sort of downsides are it's pretty big and bulky. Um, you know, with the uh, the special forces two sleeping bag um, and the tarp and the hammock. Um, you know, and with some clothing, um, I definitely couldn't fit everything, um, I needed in my, uh, Savota, so I needed to, uh, pack the, um, pouches as well. But, you know, I think in the right, um, sort of situation, um, you know, it's not really that much of a problem. I'm not, uh, you know, the car's not miles and miles and miles away. Um, so it wasn't really that big a problem to uh, to carry it. So um, yeah, I think all in all, it's a, you know it it is definitely a a good bit of kit. Right, so um, I think that's probably going to be me. Um, I was rather hoping <laughs> I was going to have more to do tonight in terms of. Um, filming uh the owls but there we go say lovely it's just lovely to be out and um hopefully have a good night's sleep i'll uh let you know in the morning so unless anything uh extreme happens in the night i will um catch you in the morning uh see you later bye night Cauliflower fungus. Quite, uh, quite a choice edible. Come back for that. So the snug pack hammock cocoon is. Uh, genuinely fantastic bit of kit. I had probably the warmest night's sleep I've ever had in a hammock last night and um, paired with the uh, Special Forces 2 sleeping bag it was just absolutely fantastic. So in terms of the uh, cocoon itself um, it weighs 69 ounces or 1950 grams um, packs down to uh, 29 by 24 it comes in a compression sack and so you can um, you know get it down um, pretty small um, it's got a full length zip um, elasticated cord attachments which attach the uh, the cocoon to uh, for example I've, I've got um, tree huggers um, so the uh, the cocoon itself is attached to the uh, the carabiner. Um, it uh, the outer fabric itself is um, snug packs micro diamond, and so that's 100% um, polyester. Um, the outer fabric is also made with Paratex antibacterial, um, and the insulation is travel soft. 
So it's um yeah, really, really good bit of kit. I felt absolutely no chill at all around my back, um, which is something that if you slept in a hammock before with a bit of a wind blowing, you'll uh, be familiar with. So I was really happy with that. 